people displaced by violence and conflict are often at high risk of contracting infectious disease caused by inadequate sanitation, unsafe water, or poor hygiene. Estimates suggest that children are 20 times more likely to die from a diarrheal disease caused by unsafe water, poor hygiene, or inadequate sanitation. To be able to effectively plan and implement a water sanitation and hygiene program or a wash intervention, we will need to obtain the right data. Uh, so for, for this reason, UNHCR has developed a wash monitoring system for the collection, analysis and utilization of uh, wash data. So the wash monitoring system has four main components. The first is the annual household survey on knowledge, attitudes and practices, which we also call KAP or CAP survey. The second is the monthly report card in which wash officers are meant to fill each month uh, information on the water, sanitation and hygiene services that UNHCR supplies. The third is the GIS portal which captures information on boreholes and other uh, physical infrastructure related to the water and sanitation system and fourth a dashboard which, which brings all this information together and can be accessed um, in a live way. UNHCR, together with its partners, measures through the system 17 key indicators on water supply and quality, sanitation and hygiene. These indicators are also in line with JMP or Joint Monitoring Program by WHO and UNICEF and the SPHERE standards. The WASH monitoring system captures information on water supply and quality sanitation and hygiene, including menstrual hygiene, as well as solid waste management. UNHCR, in alignment with the Sustainable Development Goals and together with governments and other key partners, is trying to capture this information to see if we can make progress towards the core indicators. Universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water and adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all. The official indicators of the JMP Joint Monitoring Program. In this way we can measure if refugees uh, are accessing drinking water and sanitation services and whether they are equally distributed and accessible by all. So a WASH CAP survey is to help inform the water and sanitation situation of refugees. So WASH means water, sanitation and hygiene. CAP means knowledge, attitude, practices. So basically this household survey that would occur every year in every refugee context helps understand what is the refugees' relation to water services and access, so how much water they're getting, uh, also what are their sanitation and hygiene practices to see if there's anything UNHCR has to do to improve the situation, to avoid, for example, children illnesses. CAP surveys should occur on a yearly basis. Uh, however, depending on the emergency type situations, you could also do it more frequently, um, twice a year. It really depends on the, the needs that you have in terms of understanding the refugee situation. GIS portal is, is among the wash monitoring tools established by UNHCR. Uh, it is an online uh, data management system and its main use is for capturing borrowed data from uh, the different camps and settlements uh, in different parts of the world. Basically all the necessary information ab uh, about uh, each borehole is captured in this portal, which includes the depth, uh, the static water level, dynamic water level, type of pump, uh, source of power for the pumps, and all the necessary information about each borehole in the different refuge camps in the world is captured in, in the JS portal. Uh, this is a, a publicly available information, but can only be uploaded by uh, UNHCR staff. <laughs>